In order to lower this unit down, you actually need to extend the uh, leveling jacks uh, that are on four corners of the unit all the way up in order to relieve the pressure off of the axle system. Um, once you relieve the pressure off the axle system, you can come over and pull the pins. You'll notice that the pillow block loosened up. So you have the retaining pin and the safety pin. Pillow block is out and then we can lower the unit down. So the equalizing leveling system here uh, is, it has multiple controls. You can either control left, right, or front and rear. Once you have both pins pulled out and you're ready to come back down, you can click the all retract button, it'll beep, and then once you release it, the entire unit will start to lower itself to the ground. You do want to keep an eye on this unit as it comes down to make sure that you don't retract the jacks too far up in there and also be sure that there's nothing under the unit, especially your feet. So to set up the ADA landing here, you first need to remove the transition piece and do that by pulling the pin. We'll set this off to the side for right now. Once the transition flap is removed, you'll remove your two uh, safety pins here. You do have to apply a little bit of pressure on this side because there's a rubber bumper behind it to keep it from rattling. Once you remove the second pin, you do want to be careful because it will be ready to come down. And just gently lower it to the ground. And once this is on the ground, you just want to make sure that you level it up uh, simply by turning the uh, level of the foot here. And that looks good. So the uh, ramp is best done with two people uh, coming off here. It is a little bit bulky. Uh, to remove it, pull your transport pins. There's one located at each end. And then remove your rubber draw latches uh, to release the ramp. Once you've released all of them, just pick this up, carry it right around to the landing. All of your railings and ramps store conveniently on the transportation racks located on the back side of the unit. Take the uh, threaded insert there off and the clamp, and then these are nice and easy, ready to come off and go and install. Once your trailer is lowered down and you've leveled it, uh, including the landing, you want to insert the transition flap into the, uh, into the opening here. So once your transition flap is installed, you've got a lot of options here on the landing of how you can place the ramp. Uh, for the purpose of this setup, we're going to place the ramp going off the front of the trailer. It can go away or to the rear. Once the ramp is installed on the landing, uh, you're going to want to install the rails and those are located on a storage transportation rack on the back side of the unit. 